Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a, well, a digital deluxe edition review. And this is for Royal Blood's digital deluxe edition for Typhoons. That I just got done here in the deluxe edition tracks to it, which were Space and King. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for these two songs, because I've already heard the full album already. Uh, the regular Typhoons edition, which the regular edition only comes in CD. The deluxe edition is only digital, so that's fine. So, yeah, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for these two songs and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Uh, now, there's only two songs, so it's only a total of 13 tracks. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, I just wasn't sh used to Mike Keir's voice in a uh, space that much because it sounded a little off. I was like, "Huh, sounds weird." To be honest, I was I wasn't trying to mean off. It just sounded weird with how his voice was sounding and when he was singing, and I was just like. I don't know if it's my favorite song, but it's alright. Uh, it's just the verses were not my favorite. Chorus kind of brought up the tempo to the song and made it sound a little better. But for a score, I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. Meaning a 4.5 out of 5. So, it's not a bad song. Uh, Space is not a bad song. It's like 4 minutes, so in three seconds, so it's not very long, I swear, I got like mucus in my throat or something like that, it's just bugging me, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the next song is King, and sorry that you had to hear me go, <clears throat> kind of thing, it's just mucus in my throat, it's really bugging me, I had problems sleeping last night, and when I woke up this morning, I felt like wanting to go back to sleep even more, so I'm just like, ugh. I had a rough morning getting up. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, King is another one that I would say is probably a little better than Space. Uh, it wasn't my favorite, but it was probably gonna get the same rating I'd give Space. So a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, there's moments in the song that are not so bad. And then the chorus kind of makes it sound alright to listen through. But Mike Keir's singing pitches in the song is not too bad. And the drum work's pretty solid. Uh, so I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. Overall, I thought the Typhoon's Digital Deluxe Edition was pretty good. It's enjoyable. It's going to get the same rating I'm going to give the regular edition, or what I gave the regular edition, because the regular edition was pretty good. It's just some things in the regular edition, like cer certain songs. I was saying it wrong. I was about to say cigarette or something like that. Please forgive me on that. Um, yeah, there's certain songs in the album on uh typhoons the regular edition sorry i'm just kind of mucusy a bit in my throat it's really bugging me <laughs> didn't think it bugged me this bad but hopefully i'll feel better eventually uh yeah certain things in the deluxe edition are not so bad just the way that the song is executing is why I'm going to give it the same rating I gave the regular edition to Typhoons, which Typhoons had some hits, and then it had a few misses. It just depended on which area of the song, or each song, or whatever, and how it was sounding was playing out, mostly. That's my biggest concern with how I listen to a song, and if it doesn't play out right, um, and it, then the chorus kind of makes it seem better, then I'll be like, uh, it's alright. 
So for a score, I'm going to give Royal Bloods Typhoons Digital Deluxe Edition an 8.5 out of 10. I know it should probably get a 9, but eh. I, I just felt a little off with some things on the Space Song. That was my biggest concern with the Deluxe Edition. The Space Song, I just didn't... It didn't sound like Mike here singing for a moment, but it was him singing. It just sounded a little falsetto-y and monotone at times, but it did all right. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Royal Blood Typhoon's Digital Deluxe Edition, if you've heard it, and I will be giving it an 8.5 out of 10. So I would give it a 9, but it wasn't as impressive as other albums would be but for the whole total rating for all of typhoons it's still getting an 8.5 out of 10 it's a pretty good album um yeah and if you did like this uh digital deluxe edition review i did for the typhoons royal blood album only for two songs that i reviewed comment below and let me know your thoughts on it Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. Sorry if I'm pausing and almost running out of words to say. I'm going to be ending this video in a moment. But I will be returning to you tomorrow for some new album reviews. Hopefully for the Ali and AJ album, then the BB Rexa, and uh, lastly Weezer's Fan Weezer album. So... Definitely stay tuned for those releases, because I think you might enjoy it, and sorry, that's the trash people going by, I think, so yeah, uh, or the pick, bulk pickup trash people or whatever, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this digital deluxe edition review, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible, and definitely stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.